Alright, once you go and pick up your printout, uh, then you're going to get a piece of tracing paper from the center cart and you have to use a pencil for this next step. The tracing paper is cut to be the same size as your cardboard that's going to be the background of your Collagraph print. So you're going to set your tracing paper over the top of your photograph and you need to visualize where you want this object to be located within your Collagraph print. So I'm just going to kind of center mine. Um, so I have space below the feet and above the head and kind of equal distance around the sides. Then I'm going to use pencil and I'm going to draw the contour edge of my object and I should be able to see through my tracing paper to draw the contour edge. So we learned about contour edges during our drawing units, the outside edge of the object. You're going to press pretty hard when you trace that outside edge and you want it to be accurate because this is what you're going to be cutting out from your cardboard. So if you don't cut accurate or if you don't draw accurately, your cutout is not going to end up looking like your object. Okay, if I get to a spot where I'm having a difficult time to see the contour edge. So like right now, I have a little bit of a difficult time to see where the bottom of the face is um, compared to the neck and where these legs crisscross and where the stomach of my animal is. So if that's hard to see to trace through. What you can do is look at the original photo and just draw in where those edges are located. And that can help you see through the paper to know what contour lines you're going to be tracing. And I'm going to look at my photo and then I'm going to look at the details of that photo. So I want to be able to trace the nose of my dog and the jowls of my dog and then obviously the eyes, the ears, and kind of the shape of the head. So now I'm going to line that back up and now I can see through my tracing paper a little bit easier to see where these lines connect here, where the bottom of the cheeks are located, kind of the edge of my head, and then if I really press down hard, I can see the lines for the nose, and this is where the color on my dog's face changed from white to brown. Okay. And the eyeballs are a little difficult for me to see through to know where to draw the eyes. So I'm going to maybe then try a Sharpie marker to outline those shapes with Sharpie to be able to see through that tracing paper. Okay, so with my Sharpie, I'm going to draw the shape of the eye. And I want to draw the pupil and the eyelids, what that shape is. And now I'm going to see if I can see that a little bit easier through my tracing paper. And that helped. So now I can see what those shapes look like. But if you can't see well precisely, remember we just spent um, a couple of weeks learning how to draw from observation. So if you can't see through to trace, then just put them side by side and do the best that you can to look at this shape and draw it there. But when you finish, you're going to have a simple contour drawing of whatever your object is. And you want to check to make sure you got all the lines. Now I'm missing an edge right here on this leg. So I got to figure out what piece I need to add. Ah, they just overlapped. So I did trace it right because that leg was just hiding behind the other one. Okay. 
Now, when you have that done, you need to look at your tracing paper drawing and you need to separate the object into smaller pieces. Think about a puzzle piece and how a puzzle piece comes together to make a larger image. So um, right now where my lines change from red fur to white fur or brown fur to white fur, this is going to be a break in my cutout shape. So I've got that line. I'm also going to decide to break apart my back leg where it connects to the body and then kind of where the front legs connect to the chest. And I've got lines here that shows my color change from white to brown. And I've got a line to represent where my ears separate from my head, my chin, and my neck. So I think that's a good amount for me personally to work with. You should have um, shapes drawn on the inside of yours as well. And then when you finish this step, I want you to raise your hand and I want you to show me your photo and your tracing because I'm going to look at it and decide if you have enough pieces drawn to make a successful holograph. So now when I approve that, you're going to move on to creating the actual holograph. So the directions say you're going to take your tracing paper and you're going to turn it over backwards so that the pencil lines you just drew are now touching the uh, cardboard piece. So the fresh pencil is on this edge, it's turned over backwards, it's touching the cardboard. I can see through that tracing paper to now draw my lines a second time. This time, when I draw right over my line, I want to press pretty hard, and the pressure of me drawing is taking the pencil off the tracing paper and it's making a print onto the cardboard and I'm holding this in place to check that it transferred. I'm peeling back a corner to see that the lines copied and I can see that the lines copy. You might not be able to see it well in the video but I really can see the pencil line. So I'm going to hold that still, lay that back down and I'm going to finish. I like to trace a small section at a time. Stop check my work because there's nothing more frustrating than tracing this entire image to then reveal that nothing copied on the cardboard. That's just a waste of your time. So that's why I say draw a small section, stop, peel back the tracing paper, make sure that it made a print. So if when you peel back your tracing paper you realize nothing printed onto the cardboard, that happened for one of two reasons. Either you forgot to turn your tracing paper over backwards, so the pencil lead was not touching the cardboard, or you were not using enough hand pressure, or uh, you, when you drew, you didn't draw exactly over the top of the original pencil line to transfer the pencil to the cardboard. So, when I finish I will then be ready to move on to cutting out my holograph uh, cardboard pieces to build my holograph design. All right, so now I'm going to peel this back. And it did copy, and I got a reverse image from my original photo. That is okay. Do not worry that it's backwards. Um, because once you cut this out, you can flip this over and then it, the cutout pieces will look like the way it was taken in the photo. Okay, so now, before I cut this apart, I'm going to go back and darken my lines so I can really see where I'm cutting to build my stamp. So I'm just going to take my pencil and draw right over the top of those lines to darken them before I move on to cutting. And I'm not sure where my lines went, so I'm going to look at my tracing paper and just look at the drawings from there to make those copies.
All right. So now, I see we've got this line and this line. Okay, now I'm ready to start cutting apart my cardboard, and I'm going to show you that in another video.